Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today's tutorial number 55 in our little hack and slash series. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a script that will spawn our mobs according to little spawn points that we have laid out amongst our scene. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and Mono Development. Now there is one little thing I wanted to make a change to in our vital bar script. And I didn't catch this before I ended the last tutorial, but in our toggle display method, when we start the game up, you'll get this null reference. And when you start targeting through the mobs, the null reference goes away. Well, it doesn't go away, but it doesn't call the null reference again. What's happening is that it's trying to access display before it knows what display is. So an easy fix to that was just to create an awake function so void awake and take this line here where you assign display to the GUI texture and put it up there that way there it assigns what display is before the script even starts running so now if we clear this and start it again it won't have that little null reference again and as you can see we can tab through and everything's working fine so now on to the point of this tutorial I'm going to start off by creating a spawn point which is just going to be an empty game object and I'll just call it spawn point And I'm going to want to tag it as a, let's use respawn. We're not using that yet. So I'll tag it as a respawn. I'm going to open up prefabs. And I'm going to create a new prefab. And I'll just call this spawn point. And I'll just simply take that, drag it on. Try again. There we go. Now I'm going to make three of these spawn points just by copying them and I'll just move them around a bit. So I'm going to move that one out a little further. Uh, I'll leave that one where it was originally. And this one I'm going to move over to the left a little bit. And I'll just hit save. Now I'm going to create a new script and it's going to be a C-sharp script and I'll just call this script uh, mob generator I'll go in to rename that I'm going to make another empty game object Now I'm going to call this mob generator, but I'm going to leave two empty spaces at the beginning of it so it shows up at the top of my hierarchy. And then just attach my script. All right. I'm going to close my scripts, save my scene, and head into my script. Now, the previous videos I uploaded today were on finite state machines. And I think this would be a good example of how to use a finite state machine. So I'm not going to use the update function. Next, I'm going to want to create two public arrays of game objects. So we'll do a public game object. And this is going to be for the mob prefab. So all the prefabs of the different mobs that we'll want to spawn. And the second public array will be of game objects. And this will be the spawn points.
Now let's go ahead and make a couple different mobs. So currently all we have is the slug. So I'm just going to, well we've already got three of them. So I'm going to make two more prefabs. We have our regular slug. And I'm going to make a fire slug. And let's just do a water slug. So I'm going to open up my materials. Uh, that material I'm not using, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. Now this is the one I'm using for the regular slug. So I'm just going to call this slug so I know what it's for. I'm going to, uh, actually before I copy it, let's tweak it up a bit. Right now I'm just using a diffuse shader. So if we zoom in on one, you know, it looks okay. Uh, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's switch it to uh, let's go with the self-illuminated bump diffuse. So now we can add a normal map and a loom map. I'm not going to bother making the illumination map right now, but I am going to go into my textures, not trains, textures. This is my slugs uh, texture. So I'm going to rename that. I'm going to copy it and this slug texture will be the normal map. So I'll just throw normal on there so I know. And then in Unity 3, I have it set to advanced. We can just switch it over to our normal map and you can affect how bumpy it's going to be. So the higher you go, the more 3D the texture is going to look. And since this is going to be an organic thing, I want it to be a little smooth. So we'll hit apply. It'll take a few seconds to go. Then once it's done, let's go up to our slug material again. We'll take that new normal map we made, drag it on, and you'll notice it kind of changed a bit. So if you watch while I turn it back off, see how it changes a little bit? Now I'm just going to go back up to where we have the slug material. I'll copy it. And I'm just going to call this one fire slug. And I'll copy that one. And I'll call this water slug. Now for the fire slug, I'm just going to change the color. Give it sort of a red tint. And... For the water slug, we'll give it a blue tint. So the first slug I'm going to keep the same. So we'll zoom in, look at it, and I'm going to rename it to just slug. Now the second one will be our fire slug, and the third one will make it a water slug. So we'll go up to fire slug. We'll just take this new material we made, drag it on. Oh, sorry, you can't drag it directly onto it. You have to drag it onto the part that has the ability to have a material. So whatever is UV mapped, which was this here. I'm just going to shrink that down. And by dragging it on, I can just completely over overwrite the old one. So there we go. We now have a fire slug. And then when we select the third one, which will be our water slug, We'll go down to the sphere, and we'll make that a water slug. You know, it's not very diverse, but they're different colors, so you can tell that they are supposed to be different mobs. So I'm going to close those up, then I'm going to drag them onto the new prefabs I made. Uh, just give me a second here to get to the prefabs. So the fire slug goes to the fire slug prefab. We'll replace it and the water slug onto the water slug prefab. Now once that's done, we'll delete them. Go up to our mob generator and under mob prefabs, we'll say we're going to have three mobs 
and we'll just drag all these prefabs of our slugs up. So I'll just start with the regular slug, fire slug, and of course the water slug. We'll close that. Now for spawn points, uh, we tagged it as respawns. So you could actually have it go through and find all of them. But since I made it public and I only have three, another way to do it would be just to tell it how many we have and drag them on. And I'm just going to quickly rename these a bit just so I can tell which one's which. Just to make sure they're all different. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to save the scene. Come back into my script. And it looks like we're over 10 minutes already, so I'm going to wrap this one up, uh, save it off, send it up, and we'll continue on with our state machine in the next video. I'll see you then.